So the big breaking news this morning is that from the start of 2019, all Irish racing will be transferred from at the races to race in UK. It's a move that's come right out of the blue and taken everybody by surprise. To explain what it means, what the ramifications are, I've got Tom Kerr with me. Tom, first of all, this is a real shock, isn't it? It certainly is, absolutely. We didn't know this was coming. We'd obviously heard a lot last year about how at the races had uh, p potentially become sky racing. So at that point, you're starting to think, what's the future hold for it? For at the races or sky racing it's going to be a bigger player but in fact they've just lost a major asset here they're now left with i think about 21 uh, british tracks that's it they lost ascot a few years ago so they're really starting to look a bit bare bones in their racing package this deal is still to be ratified i think next week but we're expecting it to go through um how might it play out on race in uk for a start they're called race in uk yeah. so you know they're not best placed brand wise to show irish race i'm sure they'll find a way around that but also they've got a hell of a lot of racing anyway the pendulum's kind of swung towards them there's a few british tracks have moved that way how do you think they're going to actually accommodate it how are they going to display the racing it's gonna be difficult i mean it, you know right now there's a bit of split screen going on what we're gonna get we get a quadruple screen nick lock going we're going top right now who knows i mean it, they might bring in a second channel they might put it behind the button, the red button, or they might try and make a one-channel solution work. But certainly there's an awful lot of racing on there now. And unless they do bring in a second channel, and potentially that involves a name change as well from Racing UK, then you can see it getting a, a little bit busy, which will, be, of course, be in direct contrast to what's going on ATR, where the tumbleweed rolls by on many days with nothing going on. And also, obviously, if you've got a basic Sky package, you get out the races thrown in for that. You don't with Racing UK. You have to subscribe. Do you think this might create even more bet-to-view um, activity? Well, that, absolutely. That, my first thought when I heard this was, you know, that's really sad news for all those hundreds of thousands of racing fans who, for whatever reason, don't have an RUK subscription. It's too expensive or their package doesn't support it. But then I thought, well, thank God for Better View. You can get on your mobile or, or your your favourite bookmaker's website. You can watch any race with a £1 bet. So. Racing Post app. And the Racing Post app, absolutely. Yeah, so, I mean, it's fantastic. On the go, you can watch it anywhere. And you have to think, actually, you know, in the sort of long term, is this the right move, really, to put so much good racing behind a paywall so that, subscribe, uh, that only subscribers can see it? You know, the potential audience has just shrunk massively. And you start to think, well, you know, are, are they just hastening the demise of TV channels because pe people are going to go to Better View because that's frankly the only place they can watch it. And of course, promotionally, you know, every, uh, at the race is going to be throwing the kitchen sink at the Dublin Racing Festival this week and they're going to do a great job for that. Again, you know, that's the kind of event that gets people interested in racing, isn't it? It's a great recruitment yeah. tool. You know, if that's behind a paywall, racing loses out a bit there as well, doesn't it? Absolutely. And how gutting for the at the races team preparing, gearing up for this big weekend that we've all been looking forward to in, uh, in Dublin. Now to know that, you know, they're going to have one shot at it and that's it. So, you know, that, that's really sad. And of course, you've got the fact that the Dublin Racing Festival next uh, the next time around when it's on our UK is going to have a, um, a much smaller British audience, which is, which, you know, whichever way you look at it, it's got to be, uh, you know, a, a bit of a blow to Irish racing who want to take this great action to as many people as possible, surely. Absolutely. So the battle lines are changing in the world of TV racing. I mean, I know that at the races are trying to get some of the tracks currently with Racing UK to come back to them. We'll see how that plays out. There's talk, as Tom says, of Sky Sports Racing being launched as well. So it is all change, a fascinating situation. Don't forget to read the Racing Post on the website and in tomorrow's edition for all the latest on this big story.